Hello and thanks for tuning in. There are times that you need to do a sudo to have some root access when you are running Windows Linux subsystem. In my case, I'm running Ubuntu. So in this case, if I want to run a command with sudo, for example, just a shell, sudo minus i, I need my password. And in case if you forget your password, there is an easy way to recover it. Because when you're installing your Windows Linux subsystem and then you install your Ubuntu instance or, or app, you can define a user, a default user, and give it a password or you just leave it as root. And if you have given a default user and then you have set a password, but then you have forgotten it, this is the way. So, as you can see, it won't let me um, elevate my access here. So, the way to do it is close this session and hover my mouse over the start and click on it and then type regedit for Windows Registry Editor and run it. So it's going to ask for if you want to go ahead uh, because playing with Registry Editor is not really a safe thing. So you have to be, you have to know what you are doing. In this case, we are just going to edit one part. If you are worried, you can actually go and um, on the top you just export and then you can export it to uh, a file so you can import it if you have messed it up. But in this case, as I said, we are not going to do anything drastic. So on the, if you have everything, um, you know, not collapsed, you have a couple of um, items here. The ones we are interested in is HKEY current user. And under that, uh, you go to software. So software. And under software, Microsoft. Under Microsoft, you go down and you find Windows. Windows. And under Windows, you go to current version. And under current version, you go and find LXSS. That's for Windows subsystem. Windows Linux subsystem and click on the item below it and double click on default UID. So once you double click on default UID, it comes the UID in hexadecimal. Uh, the default is a thousand in, in decimal and in hexadecimal is 3E8. So just make it blank. Once you make it blank, and then you launch your Ubuntu. The Ubuntu comes and logs in as root user. And then you can do your uh, run your password command against your user, default user, and then change the password. Once you change the password, I'm not going to do it here, but you can change the password or you, you run other things. Once you have done it, you go to default user ID again and make it um, decimal. 1000 and okay. Now you can close with a registry editor now and click on your Ubuntu instance or whatever flavor of Linux you have. And then it comes back with that user. Now, because I've changed my password and I know the password now, if I do sudo minus I and then my password, I can log in and become a root user. I hope that helps you in case if you have forgotten your password and you wonder how to change it. Thank you very much for watching and have a great time.